Hey guys, Dankbok here. Today I'm going to show you guys what you want. This stock off train set I got yesterday it has some track, but I expanded that onto my layout right here. So let's look at the engine. Looks similar to Leo Camillo's ones of the second version of the, um, Thomas from the busy day, like with that Thomas with the clouds on it, the battery compartment is similar to that. Let's put some batteries in. That's the battery compartment. Let's put the cover back on and let's test it out. There's the flashing lights and the sound chip. And here is the tender. It says classical train, same one as Leo's news one. Let's couple it up. Come on. Oh, there we go. And here's the boxcar type thing so let's give him a run I can't do it all the way because he gets stuck in some places. He just gets stuck right there. So I do need to get in. I'll just stop him right there. <coughs> so yeah, that's my review on this knockoff train I got yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out. Uh
This, guys, is a double feature VHS closing consisting of both parts of great Lionel layouts, parts one and two. Here's part one. see what this has. So that's it for part one. Now let's get to part two. And that's it. Hey guys, this is Dank Bach here, and I got something for Valentine's Day, so let me show you what it is. It's the Claro E531 series. So, here's its front, the side, the other side, which looks like that, the top, the bottom, and here is the back of the box. Let's open this thing. So here's the uh, locomotive. Uh, just for comparison, I have another engine, which is an E2, E231, which I have right here. And it looks almost the same as E531. So uh, let's put in a battery for E5 through 1. Hold on, let me get a battery. This may take me a minute to just find a good one that I can use. That one's dead. Hold on. There we go. Let's put it. So now I'm going to put the cover back on. Let's screw this thing back. So uh, here's the uh, middle coach, which is a uh, double decker type. It has a Tomy. Right there, as you can see. Yeah, it's a tomy right there. And here's the uh, end coach. Also, this is Tomy on there. So uh, let me just couple up the engine to its cars, which I have right here. Hold on, let me just do something for a second. Move the camera right here, and uh, let's let this thing go. Runs pretty fast. Finally, glad to have this engine. Oh no. 
<laughs> that was a big crash. Well, anyways, guys, that's it for this. Uh, that's it for what I got done today. The player five to one, and uh, yeah, peace out. You can see this has the macrovision thing right here, so it's the ITIC VHS.
Hey guys, Will here, and I got a lot more stuff for Christmas, and these are all VHS tapes. And yeah, this is going to take a while, because I got, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 more tapes. So, his first one, nice and I four VHS of the exciting little event chains like the trains. I'm going, uh, I'm doing this in chronological order, or year day order, back sticker label this does have a day and year code the 100th 103rd day of 1994 maybe Bill will tell me if that is but yeah anyways next up is the MTH Rail King VHS from 1995 this the front is like that for some reason the top is that and the back looks like that for some reason as well the sticker label and no print date Really glad to have this because I wanted it for a while. And I got some of these sealed, like this one, for example. Next up is next. This next one is like really, really, really rare. If you live in the U.S., this is the 1995 U.K. VHS of Thomas the Tank Engine Friends, Thomas's Train, and 17 other stories. The side and the back. Really, really, really rare. Really glad to have a U.K. tape finally. Here's the uh, sticker label. It looks like it, the tape shell looks like it's duplicated by rank, but I don't know how the white screen does in the end. And no printed or reading your code. Next one, the 1996 VHS of Yoga Kids. This is the original tape. Really glad to have the original back. See, team books and video. That's the reason why I got it. it has a big supply card from Living Arts. Pretty interesting. Here's the tape ink label. And there's printing, side printings right here, but uh, there's not appear to be a week in your part of this tape. I can get in the case, right? There you go. Next up, yet another copy of Auction 123997. This time, however, if you can see in the label, Auto Floor Trains 4 is now available. And yes, when I check this tape, this copy actually does have the original 1997 Tape Master. Because it has the Bouncing TM logo. It's the end label on this tape. Really rare. I mean, I'm also really happy to have this finally. Next one, the station at Corp Center. From 1998, top, the back. Got this brand new sealed. It's tape. Sticker label. It, it looks bootleggish, but I don't think it does. Coronaut 3M tape has these has these weird printings and has that on the side. There we go. Next one, Toy Chair Accessories Part 1 from 1998. Top, the back. This, however, is a 2005 reprint. Ink label. Print date is on the far left for some reason. It is, I think, April 14th, 2005. I believe I said that right. Next one, Toy Train Christmas Part 3. Well, actually, Toy Train Christmas Part 3. This one's also an ink label reprint. But it has prints on the lid and no side printings and yeah. I think there's a piece in a rail on this tape, but I got this brand new shield, so yeah. But it still plays fine, I tested it. Here's Torture Accessories Part 2. This is 1999. This is the original print. Sticker label and label. Next up is Ray MTH Layouts Part 1. I didn't get Part 2, unfortunately, but at least I have Part 1. This is from 2000. Sticker label and label. Next one is I'll Now, 2000 VHS. Back. Ink label. This is also. Actually, this is. No, this is a 2006 reprint. October 12th. 
2006. Yeah, really, 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 really late reprint. Here's MPS Train's Quick Start video. I know that some people on YouTube have this, as well, like including Rail Pony. You need a rip of it. Might want to do a rip of it too. Sticker label. Uh, no print date. This one got sealed as well. Here's Baby Loves Trains, 2004 VHS. Back. Ink label. Looks sort of weird. Looks like a like a residue of like a dark sticker label for some reason. Uh, I don't think there's a print date. Yeah, no print date. Here's all about John Deere Part 1, 2004 VHS. Also has a weird label like Baby Loves Trains. This one also is not printing, but there are prints on the lid. If Baby Loves Trains, it doesn't have prints on the lid. Here's all about John Deere Part 2. Ink label. Print date is June 28, 2005. And the tape is sort of coming apart, but that's okay. Still keeping it. Still works fine. All about John Deere for Kids Part 3, 2006 VHS. But this is a town of 5 print date. Ink label, August 12, 2005. And the last one is a really, is a rare one. The 2006, this is a Nara Thomas tape. The 2006 VHS of Track Stars. Top, back, got a seal. It actually has this uh, Sprout ad in here, as well as a Bush Applied Car Entertainment. That's Thomas Friends little one there. Ink label, does not have black reels. January 19th, 2006. Really glad to have this tape in the collection finally. And yeah, so that's it for this Christmas video, and uh, peace out.